Guam's Liberation Day comes once a year, and according to Guam EPA spokesperson Tammy Jo Anderson Taft, it's all about the people of Guam and protecting the island and recycling during the parade is a great embodiment of that. And just making that effort, just trying to protect natural resources through a simple thing like recycling at you know a fiesta at the Liberation Day parade can have a big impact. And with that, she challenges every parade goer, especially those who are camping out, to think green this year. I would challenge every single person that's planning on attending the parade this year. Think about how you can help your canopy recycle. Guam EPA, along with the iRecycle program and other organizations, are encouraging families camping on the parade route to either make their own or bring a recycling bin. And if you don't have the ability to make recycling bins or bring them, uh, we will be making recycling bins and distributing them on the morning of Liberation Day. And just like last year, volunteers will be making bins out of chicken wire and helping families sort out recyclables like aluminum cans and plastic bottles properly. Because it really helps if someone in the canopy, you know, uh, when somebody comes up to throw something away, they can be right there next to the recycling bin and say, okay, you know, that one goes in the cans bin, that one goes in the plastic bottles. If you'd like to pitch in on Liberation Day, go to epa.guam.gov for more information or show up at the GCIC building that morning and sign in at a registration table that will be set up. Bags and gloves will be available for anyone who wants to help. For this week's Think Green, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Presented by...